In preparation for soup season, I decided to make some homemade vegetable bouillon powder. The vegetables I decided to use were carrots, green pepper, broccoli, and celery, but you can pretty much use any combination of vegetables that you like to go in your soups. First, I peeled and cubed my carrot. You want to try and add about 2 cups of each vegetable so you can have 8 cups overall. Once I finished cutting the carrot, I added it to my blender. You don't have to cut the vegetables into such small pieces, but it'll help with the blending process. Next, I remove the tops from the green peppers, deseed them, and then cube them just like I did with the carrots. Once I have two cups, I add the peppers to the blender. For the celery, I take about five stalks, remove the bottoms and the tops, and then chop them into small pieces and add them to the blender with the rest of the veggies. The last vegetable I'm adding is broccoli. I'm mostly going to be adding the stalks of the broccoli. I know a lot of people throw out this part and only eat the florets, but the bottom is also edible and it has a milder taste that I enjoy in soups. I remove the stalk, cube it, and add it to the blender. I was just under two cups, so I also added a couple of florets. Once you have your 8 cups of vegetables diced, blend them well. The smoother you blend the vegetables, the easier it is to grind. Once the veggies are blended, I grab my dehydrator and add some fruit roll sheets to the trays. I add the vegetable mixture to the trays and smooth them into an even layer. I dehydrate the vegetables at 135 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 to 24 hours. The time really depends on how thick your layer of vegetables is. I left mine to sit overnight, so overall it took around 16 hours to fully dry. I like to use my molcajete to grind spices, but you can absolutely use a blender, a food processor, or a spice grinder instead. Then I begin to carefully grind the vegetables into powder. If you're using a blender, this process will be over much faster. I make sure to sift the powder before adding it to my jar to filter out any large pieces. I add those back in and continue to grind until everything is a fine powder. You want to make sure your powder is as fine as possible so it can fully dissolve into the water when you're making broth. I ended up with a full cup of dried vegetable powder in the end. The next step is completely optional, but I decided to dehydrate some of the sofrito I made a couple of weeks ago and also use that as a bouillon powder. One of my favorite ways to make broth is to use sofrito because it's comprised of so many delicious veggies and herbs, and in my opinion it makes a perfect base for almost any meal. I'm following the exact same process as before. I'm going to add it to the tray in a thin, even layer, and I dehydrated it at 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Overall, it took about 12 hours to fully dry. It stuck a little bit more to the sheets than the other vegetables did, so I just folded the trays a few times to release the dried sofrito. Once again, I use my molcajete to grind it down into a fine powder.
Next, I add a few more ingredients to complete my bouillon powder. First, I'm adding some garlic powder that I made. It's pretty strong so I added two tablespoons. I would increase that amount if you use garlic powder that isn't as strong and you want to make sure the flavor comes through. I then add three tablespoons of homemade onion powder. You can also add onions into the original eight cups of veggies at the beginning if you prefer. I add in the cup of dehydrated vegetable powder and shake it all well to combine. At this point, the vegetable bouillon powder is complete. This is a really nice, simple base for vegetable broth. I decided to keep my sofrito powder separate because I plan to use it in a few different ways, but you can add the sofrito powder in place of the onion and garlic powder to make a sofrito flavored vegetable broth. You can also add in other spices and herbs to flavor your broth in different ways, like turmeric and oregano, but I left them out because I wanted to make a simple broth base that can easily be added to depending on the dish that I'm making. I also left salt out of my powder because I prefer to add it separately, but you can mix it in if you like. To make broth with this powder, you can take one cup of boiling water and mix it in with one teaspoon of bouillon powder and half a teaspoon of salt and stir well to combine. If you want to add in any extra spices, I recommend a quarter to a half teaspoon per serving of bouillon. A big advantage of making your own broths and spices is that you can control what goes into them. A lot of times companies will add in a lot of ingredients that don't really benefit us, like saturated fats, preservatives, and insane amounts of sodium, so it can be very useful to know how to do it for yourself. This powder can be used to make broths, soups, gravies, sauces, and pretty much in any way that you use a store-bought broth. But it can also be used as seasoning for meats and veggies on its own. I think I may even try them both on some popcorn soon. 